Hey guys, I'm here to review another massage gun. This one's the Hing Pro. They sent me this one over to give you an honest opinion, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be completely honest with it. Oh, there goes the instructions already. Uh, first impressions, plastic is a little cheap. Uh, I'll be honest, I wasn't a fan of that at first, but uh, that's about where the bad impressions ended. It does have, obviously, a nice carrying case. The massage heads, Okay, there's six of them and they've lined them up super tight. Sometimes it's a little annoying because they're too tight, but at the same time, they packed them all in there and they're nice and tight, good fit, good function. They do have these kind of un two unique ones. One's kind of a wedge and one is more like a rubber finger. Most people are generally using the ball or I prefer this flathead one a little bit. I'm gonna pull out the flathead one and show you the massage gun. I'm gonna leave some links down below if you're interested. Those are affiliate links. They do give me a kickback. Use them if this video helped you. If not, yeah, I got some other massage gun videos if you wanna check out some other ones. I do appreciate if you do use those. Relatively quiet and a lot more power than I thought. Got the on off switch on the bottom. Turn that on, lights up the back, okay? So you got the battery and your levels. Five levels on this guy. I wanna let you show you how loud it is. Let's go about six inches from the phone, ready? So you can see what level I'm on here. Level one, two, three, four, five. So that's about six inches away. So if it's loud, just keep that in mind. The microphone's picking that up. But if I go level one and I come back here, normal gym setting, totally acceptable. Um, one of the quietest ones I've heard, that's gotta be a function for me for a massage gun if I'm gonna recommend it. It's gotta be quiet because I like to use it when I'm watching TV or watching a video on YouTube or in a gym setting and I can't sound like a jackhammer. Also, the stop force on this thing, I gotta admit, it's pretty solid. Uh, what do I mean by that? How much pressure it takes to stop it, okay? It actually takes, I would say, uh, more than average stop force. Even on level five, it's pretty hard for me to do that. Uh, if I go to level two and I'm using it on my chest, you're digging in there if you're gonna stop this thing. Uh, so like I said, the power out of this thing is a lot more than I expected. And that's what some of the cheaper ones just lack is that extra power in the motor that's where they cut corners they got to cut com corners somewhere to to you know make it cheaper i will say battery life seems acceptable um i've never ran out of battery life but i charge it you know once or twice a week make sure it's been char charged up i'll leave the specs down below but it's a 2000 milliamp battery at uh, 45 watts 24 volts one amp ergonomic enough uh, it's a little top heavy if you can see obviously this is the battery. This is the motor um, So it's a little unbalanced, but nothing crazy um, it, it, uh, it feels a lot like a drill in your hand if you will um, But all in all, I think it's uh, a pretty good bang for your buck until next time See ya